This month's employment figures were by far the worst since we started doing these video blogs. The number of people in employment, that is the number of people with jobs, fell by 69,000 to a bit over 29 million. And the employment rate also fell, 0.2 points to 70.5%. These are the sort of falls you would normally expect to see in a recession. And the unemployment figures were just as bad. There were 162,000 redundancies in the three months from May to July, an increase of 47,000 on the previous quarter. Um, unemployment rose by 80,000 to over 2.5 million, and the unemployment rate jumped up as well. There are 849,000 people who've been unemployed for over a year, the, the highest level since 1997. Young people have done especially badly. Their employment rate is the lowest for a generation and their unemployment rate is the highest for a generation. There's 973,000 people unemployed aged under 25 and it looks as though youth unemployment is going to pass the million mark later this year. Now, all these records sound really terrible. But it looks to me as though things will get even worse before they start improving. The difficulty is that the government's cuts are making it harder for the labour market to recover. The number of public sector workers fell by 111,000 in the latest figures. Now that's a tragedy for the people who've lost their jobs. But if the private sector was creating more than that, there'd be less to worry about, but austerity is feeding through to private businesses, which are losing the confidence to invest in jobs. Overall, private sector employment only grew by 41,000 in the latest quarter. Bad as this month's figures are, that's an even worse sign for the future.